In this video, we will talk about the palmar aponeurosis of hand. What is a palmar aponeurosis? The palmar aponeurosis is a thick fibrous structure in the palm of the hand that plays a crucial role in hand function and mechanics. It is the central part of the deep fascia of the palm. Location of palmar aponeurosis. The palmar aponeurosis is located in the central part of the palm, extending from the distal end of the flexor retinaculum to the bases of the fingers. Structure of palmar aponeurosis. It is triangular in shape, with its apex directed proximally towards the wrist and its base directed distally towards the fingers. Anatomy of palmar aponeurosis. Proximal attachments. The apex of the palmar aponeurosis is continuous with the flexor retinaculum, and the tendon of the palmaris lungus muscle, distal attachments. The base is directed distally, it is divided into superficial, and deep layers. Deep layer forms four slips, extending towards the medial four digits, distal extensions. The four digital slips extend into the fingers, thus blending with the fibrous digital sheaths. Layers of palmar aponeurosis. Superficial layer. Superficial layer is attached to the dermis, deep layer. It consists of longitudinally oriented fibrous bands that extend distally to form the four digital slips, which attach to the fibrous sheaths of the fingers. Anatomy in relation to other structures. Flexor retinaculum. The proximal end of the palmar aponeurosis is continuous with the flexor retinaculum, which forms the roof of the carpal tunnel. Flexor tendons. The aponeurosis overlies the flexor tendons, providing them with a protective covering, and aiding in their function. Nerves and vessels. The aponeurosis protects the median, and ulnar nerves, as well as the superficial, and deep palmar arches and their branches. Clinical pathology of palmar aponeurosis. There is a pathological condition called palmar fibromatosis, also known as Jupitrin's contracture. It is a pathological condition where the palmar aponeurosis becomes thickened and contracted, leading to flexion deformities of the fingers.